The Last of Us is a story-driven game set in a post-apocalyptic world, devastated by a fungal outbreak that turns humans into deadly infected creatures. The plot follows Joel, a hardened survivor, who is tasked with escorting a young girl, Ellie, across the US, as she may be the key to a cure. As they face hostile humans, the infected, and the harsh environment, their relationship grows from one of mere necessity to a deep, father-daughter-like bond. The game excels in its emotional depth, presenting moral dilemmas and questioning the cost of survival. Joel and Ellie's journey is filled with moments of action, tension, and quiet reflection, creating a rich narrative that explores themes of loss, hope, love, and sacrifice. The game's ending leaves players with a powerful, lingering sense of ambiguity, making The Last of Us a landmark in video game storytelling. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be reviewing the Spin Master's latest release, which is the two-pack uh, The Last of Us figure of Joel and Ellie. Now, uh, this is from their Ships collection line, wherein they create action figures for the original PlayStation games. Now, if you haven't seen my uh, previous review from this line, uh, scale-wise, these are kind of like in the 6-inch uh, scale, but like the on the shorter side one, shorter proportion. So, if you will put them close to a Marble Legend, which we all know are a little oversized for 6 inch, they are, these, these are actually more like in the 6 and a quarter or 6 and a half scale. The ship's collection of Spin Master are really on the shorter proportion, so they don't really mix that well. Here they are with supposed to be a very short character uh wolverine so wolverine is basically the same size of jo uh, joel what as if, uh, if i imagine joel he should be a bigger guy and then here they are next to Jada Toys Street Fighter. So, yeah, basically, they are in the shorter proportion size. Uh, they're more. They, they're. I think their size is closer to SH figures. Now, looking at the sculpt and the details, the same as their previous releases, Spin Master is really nailing it. Uh, when it comes to their sculpt and paint job. This figure looks like premium figures, actually. I mean, even their fans actually have like this, I'm not sure if it's showing the camera, like dark washing. So it makes the whole, the whole finish of the figure really more interesting. Uh, instead of being, you know, just flat or plain. The head sculpt of uh, Joel is actually fantastic. It does look like the character in the video game. If I would guess, well, since the they only call this The Last of Us, this two-pack The Last of Us, I'm thinking this is based from the first game. Although I'm not a good person really to judge because I only started uh, I only just bought the PlayStation 5 and just started uh, started uh, playing this game I haven't really played PlayStation for years the last uh, PlayStation console that I had is PlayStation 2 so I've, as far as this game is concerned I've just played the first game so I'm not really sure but I'm I'm assuming I, I'm thinking that this is based from the first game because Ellie looks really that young and 
if I'm not mistaken, I think on the second game they are they, they are a lot older. Just correct me. I'm not sure on that. Just correct me if I'm wrong because I haven't really had any time to play the second game, and I love playing the first game. Now for Ellie, yeah, um, very neutral expression. Maybe that's one of the thing that I can comment on this one. It would have been better if they gave us an alternate head sculpt because the head sculpt that they have is very neutral. Don't get me wrong, they are pretty good. They are a pretty good head sculpt. But yeah, it would have been helped if they have other more expressive, if they provided us uh, other head sculpt which are more expressive. And same as Joel, I believe that the paint job and the sculpt on this figure is actually done pretty well. They do have a premium feel to it. As for the accessories, they do come with a lot. They have, well, since they are survivor, they have their two backpack. They both have a huge rifle, uh, a small, a small gun, and then for Joel, he he has this machete, and for Ellie, he has this short knife or shiv and then they have this uh, for Ellie she has four alternate hands and for Joel he has five alternate hands and may I say the way they hold the weapons is really really good these figures hold their weapons pretty good if you've seen my intro of this video which is a synopsis of the last of us especially this one ellie holds this bow and arrow pretty well and as far as i know only spin master was able to fold this off wherein uh their figure can actually hold this bow and arrow with the with this with, with the spring on it and uh, which is way better than how hasbro and even shp Arts does it this is the same thing that they did with uh, their very first figure that I had, uh, Horizon uh, Eloy. That figure also holds this arrow pretty well. So, yeah. One of the plus of this figure, this, all these alternate hands that they provided, they hold the weapons pretty well with it. Now let's start with the articulation. And Ellie, Ellie actually is a very articulated figure, considering that she's a very small one. For the head, she has both articulation there and also on the neck. So yeah, she can look down pretty well. And then she can look up pretty high. Then yeah, so articulation, head articulation, awesome. Then she can do the T pose. Can do that. She has a bicep cut. Now, this is the only negative that I always review with the figures that uh, Spin Master has done. They stayed with the single joint elbow. So all their figures can only. Actually, L is pretty good. She can actually, her range is a little more than the 95 degrees. But yeah, I wish they improved this one and give their figures a double joint elbow. For Ellie, she has the abdominal cut and then an av crunch. Well, that doesn't really look pretty good, but. Yeah, that doesn't look good, but yeah, this she has the articulation, she has the range. And then she has the tie cut. This is actually the first time uh, that I had this problem with the Spin Master. Their joint is kind of stuck. Not really stuck, but they're hard to move because the same problem that we have with Marble Legends out of the box, wherein their joints are so tight, I actually had to warm this up in order for it to 
to you know to loosen up which is really the first time i experienced with spin masters the shapes collection the their first release the aloy the god of war kratos and even the the one from uh, the the gene from the ghost game uh they actually one of my comments on is that they actually had the pretty good joints they were really pretty smooth to move but with ellie they are kind of tight like this one i think this one's tight I, I can't move this one so i'm gonna have to hit this one yeah so i hope uh, i hope uh, this is not the start of spin master having uh, tight joints but yeah still articulation wise l is pretty good the only the only thing the same complaint basically the single jointed uh elbow now for this guy uh as we can all obviously see he doesn't have any up crunch but he does have the tie cut I sorry, not tie cut the abdominal cut for the head. Same thing as Ellie. He has articulation both at the neck. So yeah, for the head, pretty good articulation. For the hands, you can do the tifos, rotate. Uh, yeah, that's pretty tight. He actually has a, a cut there. There, that's that's just, just the other one. Yeah, that sample one. This one I can move. This one I'm gonna have to heat up because I can't move it. And then same thing, single jointed elbow. So that's the only range it has. I can do that, I guess, because I think in a way, yes. Waist rotation, then tie cut. Same problem here. It's uh, joint is pretty tight, so I'm gonna have to heat that up. Uh, same thing here. Although I think when it comes to this portion, articulation is not really that much as far as winch is concerned. You can kick that far. You can kick back that far. And do the bend down. So that's for the articulation of the figure. I think I forgot to show Ellie's range when it comes to kicking forward because Ellie is actually the best of the two when it comes to articulation. Although she can kick forward that far, she can kick back. Not so much because that's in the way. And then she can do the bend down. Again, uh, despite of my complaints on the on some of their joints starting to tighten, just like the issue we now have with Marvel Legends, I still think the uh, Spin Master nailed this figure again. They have pretty good uh, sculpt and paint job, and yeah, aside from that single jointed elbow, I think the articulation is pretty good. The the thing that I really like about the, the, this uh, Spin Master figure is that the the way that they hold their weapons is actually pretty good. That's not a problem with them. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I think when it comes to that, they already uh, got the secret formula on how to do it when it comes to these action figures. The only reason why I think people will might stay away from this line is because. They went on the shorter scale route, meaning the exact six inch. So they won't really scale pretty well with your Marvel Legends because they'll be too small. And also with the NECA figures, because if I'm not mistaken, NECA figures are seven inch. So I'm not 100% sure, but I think NECA have also released a, a version of these characters. But... Um, Mecha figures are really very hard to find in my area, so I don't really have any point of comparison with them. Uh, all I can say is that this is my port 
uh, purchase of Speed Masters the ships collection and so far I think they are they are nailing it and I hope they continue this line and make more characters from or from the original PlayStation games characters because I believe Speed Master have really have really have something good going on here as far as action figure is concerned. Uh, I do can say that of all the uh, action figure of all the releases they made, uh, this two pack will be the weakest for me. I don't know, maybe because they're just basically two civilians in uh, normal civilian clothes, unlike their unlike Aloy or Kratos or even Jin. Um, those three figures are a definite must buy. By by the way, but this yeah they may be the weakest, but if these are the weakest on their release so far, I think they are really doing pretty good. They are really doing pretty good. Um, just they just make sure that the issue on the tight joints doesn't continue and become very rampant, just like. What we have with Marvel Legends, where in out of the box, their joints are pretty tight. But can I recommend this? Yeah, actually I can. Although if you get into the, if you started buying uh, the figures in this line, just accept the fact that they are on a scale of their own. So it's going to be a completely separate display uh, when it comes to your shelf. So guys, if you reached this part of my video, thanks a lot. Uh, if you like my video, please don't forget to like, click uh, like and subscribe. It will really help me a lot. So thank you a lot. Thanks a lot, guys, and keep collecting.